Yep, it is. I'm going to try uploading it to Schoology one more time really quick. Tell me if it pops up for you guys, okay? wonder if I can attach the same thing again. Not good. I don't think Schoology likes it. Okay. All right. Well, um, I'll look it up for us for right now. Actually, let's do it this way. Everybody, go to Google. We're all gonna type in M1 Form Minnesota. So M1 form Minnesota. Should say 2022 form M1. You guys seeing the same thing I am? Well, that just pulls up the tax form, doesn't it? And then the one beneath it, so if you go back to Google, do you guys have this? Okay, this second one is the instructions. So if you click on that, if you're on the right document, it'll have like a lady. You guys seeing this? No one has this? Did you have this second form? It thinks we're robots. It won't let you? What's it saying? Uh, well, it's just asking us if we're bots or not. We have to do the clicking the squares. Okay. Yeah. Fun. We'll just do that. Yep. Everybody prove that they're not a robot, please. I need at least one person in every group to have it up. You got it up? Yeah. Do either of you have that up? Max, do you have it up? Um, Glenn, can you scoot over and show it to her computer? How about you two? You got it. There we go. I got it. Okay, Aiden, you're going to have to share. Uh, look at Owen's computer for right now. Alexa, do you have it? Okay, great. All right, so we're all scrolling down. All right, I'm, we're scrolling down to, it looks like, page 10. Okay, it says, enter wages, salaries, tips, commissions, bonuses, etc. that you received in 2022. The nice news about state taxes is it uses a lot of information from your federal taxes. Do you see how it says, uh, line A, federal wages, salaries, tips, etc.? Do you see how it says, if you filed Federal Form 1040, enter the amount from line 1Z? Okay, you're staring at me like you've never heard of these words before. Does anybody see where I'm looking? Okay, so you should be looking on line, we're like on page 10, it says line instructions. Okay, and then right here it says that I need to enter the stuff that was on line 1Z of my stuff. So what was that? I say it one more time. Twenty one. Twenty one thousand nine hundred and seventy two dollars. That was the thing on one Z. OK. Uh, IRA pensions and annuities. We don't have any of those. We were not employed in the last year. Federal tax income. That one says if I look back at my instructions on my computer, it says I need to enter line 15 of form 1040. So what was line 15? You've got the form in front of you guys. I don't. That's the taxable income. That's $9,337.26. 
$9,337.26. Okay. And then it says we need to write down our federal adjusted gross income from line 11 of our federal form. What was that one? Twenty-two thousand. Say it again. Uh, $22,287.26. So, if we remember the right, that was our um, salary plus our interest. I think. Additions to income from line ten of schedule one, uh, M, M one M. So go back to Schoology, and look at underneath the date today's date, look at Schedule M1M. I already downloaded that one. This one pops up for me. Is it popping up for you? Okay. Yep. This is all about additions to income. Um, this is all stuff that you do not have to worry about, but there are a couple things I wanted to show you. So if you scroll down on the document, there are a couple things that are interested in um, uh, state taxes, uh, for instance, if you're in the Minnesota National Guard, you get some benefits there. Um, and also, if you're from a different state, it's talking about how much you have to do that is taxable. Uh, you get benefits if, you have, if you're an organ donor. Um, one interesting thing is if you look at line 29 on this M1M, is the Minnesota Frontline Worker Pay. Do you know what that was? Frontline worker pay, yeah? Uh, doctors, nurses, um, educators. Teachers. Uh, People who work at grocery stores. Uh, basically, if you worked during COVID, so you know how, like, have you heard that the Minnesota State had kind of a surplus this year mm -hmm. in money? So they had a lot of extra money in Minnesota this year, so they were trying to figure out what to do with it. Uh, and one thing that they decided to do with some of it is they decided to give an extra uh, benefit to anybody who was working during um, COVID. So during COVID, if you were considered a frontline worker, which means it was necessary that you continue. So somebody name a job that is necessary that continues during COVID that is not a doctor or a teacher. Yes. What did you say? Farming, yeah. Yep. Police work. Police work, yes. Kate, you got one? Farming, yeah. Yeah. Hospital care. Anything with pre-hospital care? Uh, actually, uh, my husband qualified. He works in a manufacturing plant, but they make medical equipment. So because they were making medical equipment, he he fell under that category too. Kate? And to the that they them, they if they are specifically doing stuff for the medical field, yes. If they're just like